I request the audience to kindly stand up to welcome our revered dignitaries. We request you to remain standing for the national anthem, which will be played shortly. the dignitaries to offer prayers in the form of flowers to Shidi Sai Baba. Chief Guest, His Excellency Shri Venkaya Naidu, Honorable Vice President of India, His Excellency Professor Ganeshi Lal, Honorable Governor of Orissa, Respected Chairman Dr. Bijay Kumar Sahu, dignitaries of the days, parents, guests, friends from the print and electronic media, dear students and teachers, welcome to the decadal celebrations of Sai International School. We've gathered here today to celebrate a milestone, the culmination of 10 glorious years of Sai International School, 
and today our pride knows no boundaries and we feel extremely privileged to be amid stellar personalities the honorable vice president of india whose gracious visit and his words of wisdom will be etched in golden letters in the history of sai international school we are honored to have amidst us the honorable governor of odisha who shall bestow his inspiring ideals to the students for which we shall be greatly indebted during the past decade a relay of seminars and guest lectures by a galaxy of luminaries which include late dr apj abdul kalam former president of india justice shri anang kumar patnaik former judge of the supreme court of india guruji dr chandrabhanu satpati ji nasa astronaut colonel jack david fisher professor lewis dartnell british research scientist and renowned ted speaker and mr alan gemmel order of the british empire director british council have enriched and enlightened us the educational indispensability of each dignitary who obliges us with their presence is cherished and is held close to our hearts philosophers the world over agree that the foundation of every state is the education of its youth we too follow the same doctrines at sai international school we firmly believe that values principles and the ethos of shraddha and saburi are conserved eternally in each and every pupil it's our extreme pleasure pride and privilege to extend our warmest greetings and respectful regards to the dignitaries on the dais through the presentation of flowers i now humbly request chairman dr vijay kumar sahu to kindly present the bouquet to honorable vice president of india and to honorable governor of odisha I request sir to kindly present the flowers to the honorable governor of Odisha. Without any further ado we continue with the decadal celebrations. with a melodious rendition by our sai choir 1 2 3 
Thank you very much, music gurus and signers, for the wonderful rendition. It is a matter of great honor and pride to have Dr. Bajay Kumar Sahu, Chairman Sci International, in our midst today. A chartered accountant, cost accountant, a graduate in law, armed with a master's degree in business administration, specializing in finance and treasury, an alumnus of the prestigious Harvard Graduate School of Education, Dr. Sahu firmly believes in creating his own niche and is an inspiration for each and every Cyanea here. He is the founder chairman of Sci International Group, which brought about a paradigm change in the educational scenario of Odisha. I take the privilege to humbly invite our founder chairman to kindly address the gathering. Good morning. Good morning. Are you all happy? Yes, sir. Are you all happy because Honorable Vice President is here? Yes, sir. So how he'll know that you're all happy? Let's show our happiness in a different and unique style. Our clap of happiness. <laughs> Louder, I'm unable to hear. Thank you, thank you. Good morning, Namaskar, and Jai Sri Sai. Honorable Vice President of India, Sri Venka Nayuduji, Honorable Governor for Orissa, Professor Ganesh Lalji, esteemed members of the Vice President Secretariat, esteemed members from Governor Secretariat, officials from the central state government, members from print and electronic media, invitees, guests, teachers, students from different schools, esteemed parents and my dear signers. I am humbled and deeply honored in taking the privilege of welcoming the Honorable Vice President of India, Sri M. Venkai Nayuduji, a brilliant orator, a prolific writer, a perfectionist, and an icon worth emulating. Sir, you have always understood the importance of education, encouraging its reach to the remote rural areas through an enhanced infrastructure, and greater connectivity. Sir, you are great inspiration to the young minds with your belief in the importance of mother, the motherland, the mother tongue, and the guru, a philosophy that endorses our views on inculcating values in our students, inspiring them to lead accomplished lives. I thank you, sir, with all my heart for giving your gracious consent to deliver Sai Decadal Lecture, celebrating 10-year journey of Sai International School. I can state with great conviction that your insightful thoughts will forever be imprinted in the memories of students, parents, teachers, and all those who are assembled here. I welcome Honorable Governor of Orissa, Professor Ganesh Lalji, who is acknowledged as a prominent mathematician with a brilliant educational career. Sir, your words of wisdom to our students and both Sai International Residential School and Sai International College of Commerce to inspire them and today, the students of Science International School are fortunate to hear from you. Being an educationist, you completely understand the needs of students and great affection and concern for them. This occasion also becomes more memorable as it coincides with Utkal Divas, the foundation and formation day of Orissa as a separate state. Bande Utkala Janani. I believe that each one of us is born for a definite purpose. Every child that comes to this world uses these unique abilities and talents ingrained within to fulfill this predefined purpose. This makes each and every child special. We at Sci International enable children to identify their uniqueness and empower them right from kindergarten to honing their innate skills and equip them with right vision, values, ideals to transform them to inspired and confident global citizens. I thank the Almighty that 20 years ago, I was inspired to pursue my passion of spreading education and creating a new generation of future ready leaders rather than follow my 25 years profession as a charter accountant. This, I felt, satiated my inner need to give back to the society and transform my dream to reality. 
For 10 long years, from the year 1995 to 2005, I immersed myself in conducting research and building groundwork in understanding what is school education. I visited more than 250 schools in places like UK, USA, Australia, Singapore, and India to understand the needs of learners of 21st century to build a premier institution where children are nurtured to grow up as fine individuals, principled human beings, and enable global leaders. I believe every successful person has a sound education behind him that lays down the foundation for a purposeful and meaningful existence. My long cherished dream of contributing to the education firmament of my motherland bore fruits in 2008 when my endeavor in form of Sai International School took shape. It gives me immense sense of fulfillment when I see numerous accolades the school has been conferred in the last 10 years. From a humble beginning with a handful of students in 2008, the school is now more than 5,000 students and is ranked as the third best school in the country. The Quality Council of India has awarded the prestigious DLC award consecutively for 2017 and 18 for ac achieving excellence through quality initiatives. It has received accreditation from NABET, affiliations from UNESCO, UNIC, British Council, Microsoft, Cambridge University, AFS, an international organization prom promoting international understanding and peace. And the latest has been our membership to the coveted Round Square UK where we are the only one from this region of the country. I feel blessed for being endowed with the determination and undying passion to provide quality education in our state. Our students have been performing exceedingly well in the scholastic and co-scholastic activities. Our persistent strive to achieve excellence has been aptly reflected through outstanding academic results in both board examinations as well as winning uh, laurels in the state, national, and international events. Our students have earned distinctive recognition uh, being state toppers in NEET, second rank in medical, as well as law examinations, to name a few. This year, one of our students became the state topper, scoring 99.98 percentile in the JE and Trans Main 2019. Our students have commendable achievement in sports, music, dance, creating state and national records. The school has an excellent track of holding 100% first division in the last 10 years in the board examinations with 100% placement and our students have made us proud by joining prestigious institutions like IIT, IIM, NYSER, Law University, Sriram College of Commerce, BITS Pilani, BITS Hyderabad, FMC, NIFT and many others of national repute. I am filled with sense of pride and satisfaction to, to, to see my students foraying into top international universities, which include Stanford, University of California, University of Sheffield, NTU Singapore, MIT, University of Pennsylvania, University of British Columbia, Georgia Tech University, New York University, HKUST, and many others of international ranking. To achieve excellence in life, two things are most essential, sraddha or devotion, and Saburi, the patience, the virtues which led one towards perfection. These are the great teachings of Sri Sai Baba on which foundation of this school is laid. Sri Sai Baba, universal teaching are constant guiding factors which are instrumental in infusing right values in our students. Education, especially at school level, makes a permanent impact on the minds and personality of students and nobody can take away this wealth of knowledge assimilated during these formative years. Our country was once the educational hub of the world. It established the world's finest university, Takshasila, in 700 BC, where more than 10,500 students across the globe studied more than 60 subjects. The University of Nalanda built in fourth century one of the greatest achievements of ancient India in the field of education. India invented the number system. The value of pi was first calculated by Dhyana in sixth century. The number zero was invented by Aryabhata. Bhaskaracharya calculated the time taken by Earth to orbit the Sun way back in 7th century. Algebra, trigonometry, calculus, all originated from this great land. Odisha too was privileged to house enviable seats of higher learning. Odisha had Pathani Saman, the greatest astronomer and scholar. The ruins of Puspagiri, an ancient university found atop Langudi Hills, spread over Jajpur and Katak district, established the importance to education from Odisha in the third, third century itself. Puspagiri Mahavira was prominent Buddhist seat of higher learning in the ancient India, where scholars far away lands such as Greece, Persia, China used to study philosophy, astronomy, mathematics, and science in Odisha. 
In the recent years, a similar trend is resurfacing. As history repeats itself, country is witnessing a resurgence in education sector. Odisha, with all top institutions such as IIT, IIM, AIMS, NYSA, IIIT, Institute of Physics, Institute of Mathematics, IMT, NIFT, are all poised to become the 21st century educational hub of the country from Odisha, emerging as a leader in the higher learning as well as school education. The last decade of our success of Science International has fortified our mind, body, and soul to continue with deeper conviction and belief and assurance that Science International will fulfill the role of putting Odisha in the educational map of India as well as the world. In the next decade, India will have more than 50% of the global youth, which gives the country a great opportunity to make an impact worldwide. Together, we can bring the lost glory of the nation and help building a better India through education. Sir, I firmly believe that we can build a better India through education. We, all the seniors, believe this and live with this thought and hope. We, the seniors, have a unique way of reaffirming our hope, and we call it our song of hope. I hope my seniors remember that we can build a better India through education, and we believe that through our song of hope. कुछ पाने की हो आस आस कोई अरमा हो जो खास खास आशा है हर कोशिश में हो बार बार करे दरियाओं को आर पार आशा है तूफानों को चीर के मंजिलों को चीन ले Thank you, children. I am sure we will build a better India through education. Sir, I profusely thank you for accepting our request and gracing us with your august presence. Your visit and your words of wisdom shall ever be etched in the golden letters in the annals of the history of Sai International. Thank you, sir. Bande Utkala Janani. Thank you very much, sir, for your words of inspiration. It is our true fortune to be amid such a praiseworthy person whose personality encompasses the laudable contributions which continue to inspire us. We are immensely fortunate to have the presence of Professor Ganeshi Lalji, Honorable Governor of Orissa, whose glorious efforts continue to illumine the lives of millions. Professor Lal, an academician par excellence, is a gold medalist with a degree, both in English as well as in mathematics. He has left his Midas touch in all the spheres that encompassed him. It is an honor to have Professor Ganeshi Lalji in our midst today. We now take the prime privilege of inviting you to enthuse and inspire the Sionese, sir. जय प्रभु जगन्नाथ सबका मालिक एक ऑनरेबल वाइस प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ इंडिया माय इंडिया माय ग्रेट इंडिया ग्लोरियस इंडिया ऑल एम्ब्रेसिंग लव ऑफ इंडिया दैट इज भारत टुडे इज अ डे ऑफ उड़ीसा डे डे ऑफ सेलिब्रेशन जुबिलेशन एंड फेलिसिटेशन and your benign presence has added beauty, joy, and gaiety that is delight to this present moment, which is nothing else but the existence. And the universe is built on the existence of delight. It's a day when you will inspire all of us, the Chairman Honorable Shri Vijay Kumarji Sahu, the Principal Harish Ji, and of course, the students of this uh, Sai International School 
infinitely many thanks to your coming to this place and I welcome you as the first chakar and citizen of this Udisa Pradesh, Honorable Sir. <laughs> Education is resurrection. It is awakening of the consciousness in you. And the ultimate evolution of consciousness is superman. It means in you dwell, you contain the superman as a potential in you. In you dwell the entire man, the entire space, the boundless space, the limitless you are. Even the atom, the colon and the bacteria, they have the consciousness in them. The only problem is how to awaken this consciousness. And once this consciousness is awakened, the faith in oneself is aroused. And once the faith in oneself is aroused, the straw becomes the Brahmastra. The simple drops of water become the rock to vanquish the Titanic. The problem with us is, to awaken the consciousness. Many things have been mentioned by the spiritual teachers, the scientists and the philosophers of the world to awaken this consciousness. One is, uh, people say that one should adopt a positive attitude towards life. But all the time we are talking of the negative things, you say. Even in uh, Bhagavad Gita, Lord Krishna says, Dhyayato Vishyan Punsaha Sangate Shupajayate, Sangat Sanjayate Kama Kamat Krodho Abhijayate. We talk of Kam Krod Madlo Mat Kariye, Chori Mat Kariye, Jhut Mat Boliye, Bura Mat Dekhiye, Bura Mat Sochiye, Bura Mat Kahiye. Sab negative baat karta hai. Aisa to nahi bolte, Tere kanto se bhi pyaar, Tere phoolon se bhi pyaar. जो भी देना चाहे दे दे करतार दुनिया के पालन हार अपने लिए जिए तो क्या जिए तू जी है दिल जमाने के लिए पॉजिटिव नहीं बोलते अच्छा अच्छा कहिए अच्छा सुनिए अच्छा बोलिए नहीं बोलते हाय तो इट इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट इट हैज बिकम वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू अडॉप्ट ए पॉजिटिव एटीट्यूड टुवर्ड्स लाइफ दो वी टॉक ऑलवेज कांस्टेंटली अब्रप्टली टॉक पॉजिटिव बी पॉजिटिव वेरी डिफिकल्ट इट इज टू बी पॉजिटिव हकीकत एक है हर शे की खाखी हो या नूरी लहू खुर्शीद का टपके अगर जर्रे का भी दिल चीरे इवन इफ यू कट ओपन द हार्ट ऑफ ए पार्टिकल द ब्लड ऑफ द सन ऊजीज आउट रक्त उससे निकलता है सूर्य से अगर जर्रे को भी चीरते हैं वी आर सो वेडिड विद ईच अदर but no, it is very difficult to become, to adopt a positive attitude towards life. So the best alternative, the second alternative is that make a habit to smile. When I was born, my smile, smiling tenderness is another name for the Almighty, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, that is Sai Baba. Smile doesn't know barriers, boundaries. Banners. Smile doesn't know caste, creed, color, political clumsiness, diplomacy, strategies. It is the smiling tenderness of the Almighty. Wo muskan gayab ho gayi hai. Let us make a habit to smile. And this springs from an excellent action. An excellent action is nothing else but Gladdening the heart of a saddened one, helping the, those persons who have never been helped, loving those who have been, never been loved, respecting those who have never been respected, protecting those who have never been protected, sheltering those who have never been sheltered, espousing those who have never been espoused. That can bring out a, a smile. And the other way, very simple is, Growing into and growing with the nature which is the visible garment of God. Prakriti ki god mein jaiye. See a daffodil, see the butterfly, 
सीधा ग्लोब आम जुगनू को देखिए तितली को देखिए पानी में बहते हुए पत्ते को देखिए पत्ते पर बरसात को देखिए समुद्र की लहरों को देखिए प्रकृति के किसी भी चीज को देखिए देन आई थिंक एंड आई एम श्योर इन दर्ड्स ऑफ विंदर नाथ टैगोर यू विल गेन इंटेलिजेंस यू विल ऑलवेज बी चेयरफुल बिकॉज चिराग का कोई मकान नहीं होता जिधर जाएगा रोशनी करेगा बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद वंदे उत्कल जन्नी धन्यवाद योर वर्ड्स ऑफ इंस्पिरेशन विच विल नेवर सीज टू मोटिवेट अस इन दीज योर वर्ड्स हैव एनकरेज अस टू अडॉप्ट पॉजिटिव एटीट्यूड टू लाइफ एंड स्माइल ऑन दिस जर्नी ऑफ लाइफ एनेबल एनकरेज एंड एन डाउ in each and every student to initiate the lifelong pursuit of learning is the mission of sai international school committed to instill in each child the values needed to holistically grow and develop in body mind and soul sai firmly believes that we can build a better india through education on this day of reckoning we've gathered to commemorate the special achievements of exceptional young individuals who've had the potential to reach the acme of perfection on this special occasion we wish to congratulate the signers who truly reflect the ethos and teachings of sai i humbly request the dignitaries on the dais to kindly present the awards to our signers the stellar achievement award goes to samir patra the state topper of all india institute of medical sciences and national eligibility come entrance test 2018 congratulations samir the prodigious award goes to sebasi snayak the state topper of joint entrance examination main 2019 with 99.98 percentile congratulations sebasi The Global Signer Award is bestowed on Pranav Mani, the school topper of Science, Commerce and Humanities stream with 98%. Congratulations Pranav. Last but not the least, the Global Entrepreneur Award goes to Shivangi Sharma for her astounding leadership abilities in the largest student led event unwind congratulations shivangi thank you very much emanating an aura of unwavering resolve quiet confidence and strength his excellency Shri Venkaiah Naidu Honorable Vice President of India and Chairman of the Rajya Sabha is a force to reckon with. Our avid guest journey began in the year 1978 and ever since he has constantly exhibited his irrefutable expertise in each and every capacity that he has encompassed over the years. A writer and speaker par excellence beat in the display of his lucid views in moving on moving forward a year in office or in the compilation of his speeches and articles in the book titled tireless voice relentless journey an epitome of perfection be it his command over multiple languages his ability to reach out to children urging them to learn traditional values develop constructive attitudes and focus on achieving perfection in whatever they do truly encapsulates the fact that he is a beacon of inspiration for children across the nation furthermore he is closely involved with the swarna bhadra trust which caters to the needs of the underprivileged and special needs children as the face of india his captivating essence has enveloped all of us in his luminescence as he firmly believes in spreading the tenets of goodness and righteousness He remains unwaveringly focused on the development of the country pursuing it with relentless zeal his life an exemplary manifestation of sheer simplicity and lofty ideals is conspicuous as his ideologies reverberate through each and every action and body of work he undertakes we are privileged and extremely honored to have you today in our midst sir 
With utmost humility, we take the occasion to request the Honorable Vice President to kindly invigorate and motivate the Sioneers. Manevar Rajapal Professor Ganesh Lal Mahoday, Sai International Vidyalera Adhyakya Dr. Vijay Kumar Sahu, Upastiti Sudhi Brunda, Priya Chatra Chatri Mane, Media Banduganam, Samastaku Samastanko Namaskar, Aji Pavitra Vutkala Devas, Upalakke Samasta Vadisa Basinko, Yabam Visware, <coughs> Anya Stanare, Tiva, Vodia Mananko, Mu, Abhinandana, O Antarika Subhecha, Jana Uchi. <coughs> One day, Utkala Janani, Bharat Matako Jeho, E Subhavasare, Sai International Vidyalera, Dasekia, Vakruta, Samaro Hare, Jogadeu, Mu, Atyanta, Anandita, Mane Karuchi. Yehi Skudra Samasta Pelam Mananka Vajwala Bhavishatu Pai Mora Aneka Aneka Subhache. My dear youngsters, children, teachers, parents, management of this distinguished institute and also the people who have come from other, students who have come from other institutions. And my dear sisters and brothers, it gives me immense pleasure to interact with the students, teachers and parents of this institute and share my thoughts. Whenever I visit a school or a college, it fills me with intense optimism about the future of the country. I am particularly happy in the eastern part of India, which was called as earlier as the backward region. You have such a beautiful school with a beautiful character, with an outstanding performance, stellar performance at every level. I was really filled happy with the joy when Swahuji was mentioning about various achievements and the highlights of the school. <coughs> this school started in the name of uh, Shirdi Saiji, propagating his thoughts for the betterment of the mankind and also for the universal happiness is really distinguished from the other schools across the country. One of the three top schools in the country 100% first rank to all students, 5,000 students, Quality Council recognizing it, UNESCO, even Cambridge, MIT, number of international institutions acknowledging this and such an outstanding academic performance along with sports, dance, music and other extracurricular activities, developing comprehensive personality. That is the need of our. In fact, the country needs such schools in every state and in every district. I recommend that this sort of a <laughs> schools should be promoted, propagated, which will value, which will add value to our civilization, to our culture, and make better future citizens of the country. So I am very happy today. Here for this uh, decadial celebration of your prestigious school, and I convey as the Vice President of India my best wishes to the school and its management. God bless you all. In this few minutes I spent here, though of course I read about the school, I, have, I am very much impressed by the atmosphere by the conduct of the students and also the way the management is running the school. 
I have always heard that schools are not just temples of learning, but are important institutions that play a foundational role in shaping the destiny of a nation. They are the springboards for producing future teachers, scientists, doctors, engineers, advocates, chartered accountants, politicians, and scholars in various disciplines. Hence, good schooling, which lays emphasis on overall development of the child without focusing solely on academic achievement, is extremely crucial for youngsters to become responsible, sharing, caring, empathetic citizens of the country. Mere academic excellence alone will not suffice. You need to develop an integrated personality, comprehensive personality. That's why I am particularly impressed by the school, not only by your curriculum, but also the extracurricular activities. Dear students, you all have completed your exams and will soon be joining new academic session in the next class. I wish you very success in your academic career and rewarding future. My dear youngsters, in a school, we celebrate the colorful, innovative ideas. Innocent idealism inculcates moral and ethical values and chase dreams with hope and optimism. As our former president, Dr. A.P.J. Abdul Kalam, used to ask students to dream, dreams transform into thoughts and thoughts result in action. Your dreams, ideals and ideas will shape the future of this great country. Education is not only for employment. Please understand, it is meant for empowerment of an individual through knowledge and wisdom. While importing knowledge and keeping abreast with the latest methods of pedagogy, schools must acquire the students about the importance of our ancient civilization, culture, traditions, history and heritage. This is very much important. I have been advocating and I have been suggesting to the government of India, to the leadership of the country, particularly to the HRD ministry, that we must go back to our old education system, integrate it with the present needs and challenges. We must teach our students about the history of this great country. Second, about the culture of this great country, about the traditions of this great country, about the heritage of this great country. Adi kaal se, Veda kaal se, Punya kaal se, Purana kaal se, jo puro jo ne jiya aur diya aur virasat me humko mila, Bharat ya samskruti usko kaayam rakhna chahiye. That is very much necessary for the country to move forward. The understanding of the history should be complete and comprehensive without any scope for bias. Unfortunately, we have been under colonial rule for a long time. Our mindset have changed. Our history books have changed. Our curriculums have changed. So our thoughts also have changed. Unfortunately, even after independence, we have not given enough importance to go back to our culture, to go back to our history, to rewrite Indian history books as per the actual happenings of the country. That is the irony. Time has come that the government at the center and the state and the people who are there deciding the syllabi or the curriculum, they should all focus their attention on this vital aspect. No country, no generation which cannot remember its past cannot move forward. This has to be understood by one and all. Of the seven deadly social sins announced by Gandhiji, education which does not build character was one of such sin. He called it a sin. Education without character is a sin. Apart from seeking to empower the future citizens with the knowledge and wisdom, education must inculcate social, moral, ethical and spiritual values. Spirituality also is very much needed. I am not talking of religion. Religion is personal. But spiritual thing is required for happiness, for peace. For progress, I am very happy that your institute is focusing enough 
on the spirituality aspect also i am particularly impressed by this activity what is important is your attitude towards fellow citizens other living creatures protecting the environment and your commitment towards larger good of the society the father of the nation mahatma gandhi has put it most profoundly and he said i quote the greatness of a nation can be judged by the way it animals are treated even animals are treated we have such a tradition in our country from the beginning but unfortunately the tradition has fell apart after the colonial rule true education emancipates you from the bondage of ignorance it must remove obscurantist beliefs and superstitions in indian tradition it is said ya vidya se vimukta hai what emancipates is the knowledge it is an essential part of all human life which makes an individual civilized <coughs> refined cultured and educated for ages india was known as vishwa guru we excelled in abstract sciences and applied technologies many examples were given by our chema those were not the days of claiming intellectual property rights rather we believed that the knowledge only grows if it is spread and shared with others true to our ideal of vasudhaika kutumbakam the entire universe is one family that is our philosophy we shared our knowledge and excellence with the global community our famous universities of takshashila naranda pushpagiri through open their doors for the students and scholars of other regions and religions we have shared our knowledge and fortune with everyone as we believed in the sublime ideal of sarve bhavantu sukhinat sarve santu niramaye may everyone be satisfied may everyone be free of disease and sickness sharing and caring share and care is the core of indian philosophy so every one of us the children particularly should follow this philosophy in their respective life share and care that is the culture of india when i was giving a lecture in one of the institutions one boy asked me sir culture or religion i said religion is a way of worship the way you want to worship it is your choice the culture is way of living he said sir i am not, not, not able to follow i said culture is a way of living unko fir bhi samajh mein nahi aaya to maine unko kaha culture ek jeevan paddhati hai unhone kaha thoda aur bhi vistar se bataye to acha hoga maine kaha simple udaharan deta hu aapko aapke paas ek roti hai bread hai aapne apna roti khaya wo prakruti hai apne dusri vyakti ka roti chheen ke khaya wo vikruti hai आपने अपना रोटी को दूसरी व्यक्ति के साथ शेयर किया वो संस्कृति है वो भारतीय परंपरा है ऐसा मैंने उनको तब उनको समझ में आया देन ही अंडरस्टूड दैट इज व्हाट इज शेयर एंड केयर पॉलिसी ऑफ इंडिया सो माय डियर चिल्ड्रन इट इज योर ड्यूटी टू इम्बाइव दैट कल्चर टेक कंसर्न ऑफ योर फेलो स्टूडेंट फेलो सिटीजन फेलो कॉलोनी people fellow villages and then fellow countrymen this should be our attitude that has been our culture these eternal values have been the core of our education system and has been inculcated strong value system from generation to generation true education lays the foundation for developing a society that is strongly grounded in ethics and moral values leading to peace and contentment of life unfortunately some of this are missing in our education system i remember when i was a student of your age 10th class intermediate 10 plus 2 we used to have number of classes we used to have pt physical training compulsory now many schools are run in multi storied buildings apartments so where is the scope for physical training it is missing second is we used to have a compulsory ncc national cadet corps or air wing or navy or nss they are missing now in most of the schools third thing is we used to have a craft class craft because indian people across the country in the rural areas they have different crafts we should encourage those crafts that is also missing 
then we used to have a gardening class gardening class those days that is to take care of the nature growing trees garden that was part of education that is also missing we have successfully cut all the trees and now we are going for a tree plantation this is also an important thing to be remembered and then we used to have a moral science class now science class remains morals have gone so my dear youngsters the time has come for the people who are at the helm of affairs to think seriously the parents also to insist that there has to be morals in every aspect of life that is possible only if you educate the children from the beginning itself about the values unfortunately over the years we have been witnessing an all round degeneration of the morals and ethics in the society politicians leaders people in different walks of life there is a decay there is a decay in values not that there is a total fall but there is a certain amount of decay it is time that we should all assert ourselves to stop this decay because politics education medicine and also the uh the other professions they used they used to be called as a mission education was a mission politics was a mission but unfortunately some people of late is converting that mission into commission and they are giving remission to the values and doing omission to their duty we must stop this and again go back but here i could see the missionary zeal in this education institutions in the school i hope that everybody follow this sai model there are institutions across the country but their number is small when you compare with mushrooming number of schools and other institutions in indian tradition it is said knowledge brings humility humility makes you worthy with that you acquire wealth and with wealth you conduct your conduct becomes ritual and that eventually leads to ultimate blissful pleasure what is required is not prosperity not money not gold alone what is required is above all happiness that happiness makes you more happy and comfortable mere money cannot make you happy wealthy nation cannot become a healthy nation but a healthy nation can become a wealthy nation so we have to focus our attention on health also health is very very important and humility in life is very important education and knowledge are the basis of a civilized living tirukkural the tamil great he says the wealth of learning is alone imperishable nothing else in, is a true wealth all wealth may perish but the wealth of learning is imperishable it will live long so my dear youngsters you must aim with that for wealth of learning today i expect you to read him our past stature as we aspire to become viswa guru once again we shall have to align our education with the best educational pedagogies teaching methods and techniques in the world without losing our ethical moorings you are living in a very promising times when the technology has opened up new opportunities and i will use for acquiring knowledge today online courses and study material are available even on your smartphones you can access almost every information anywhere in the world through internet the world has truly become a global village and the barriers to knowledge are coming down at a faster pace than before in this knowledge driven digital era schools must discard rote method of learning and promote innovative and creative thinking they must encourage students to develop an inquisitive and questioning mind ever eager to learn new things and come out with bright ideas not only the students the teachers also must continue learning upgrade their skills upgrade their knowledge because the world has become small it has become a village we are living in an age era of lpg 
liberalization, privatization, globalization. What is happening here in Bhuvaneswar will be known in Mumbai in few seconds and will be known in Babylonia in another few seconds or will be known in Washington in few minutes. So that being the case, the world is wide open. There are opportunities, there are challenges, there are new problems. So we have to equip our children with the continuous process of learning for that the teachers also must always update. We must follow the best practices around the globe. We must follow the best, pra best practices followed by our forefathers in our civilization. We have such a great history, talent, this land, this water, this air, these trees, this everything has got something special. You go through the, even the earlier days, Maitreyi used to come and make lecture in public places. Those days in Upanishad period, Gargei and Maitreyi. And you, you go further and you have Charaka, Samhita, Susruta, Dhanvantari, top doctors, scientists, Aryabhatta, Bhaskaracharya, Varaha Mihira. So many examples are there, great examples, those days itself. So that being the case, we in the modern era with the advantage of technology, we must excel and go for new innovations. The Prime Minister has given a call saying reform, perform and transform. Transform the nation. Transformation for raising the standard of living of the people. That should be our attitude in any activity we undertake. In addition to making our education socially relevant and grounded in our cultural values, we need to inculcate a sense of volunteerism among young students. Students should join organizations like NS NCC, NSS, Scouts and Guides to learn life skills and volunteerism. The schools should become resource centers for the neighborhood community service. There should be greater interaction between schools and neighborhood communities also. Students should take up community assignments and voluntary work in neighborhood communities and adjoining villages, interact with the local administration about the local issues and provide innovative solutions for community and rural development. A large part of India lives in villages. Socially conscious students must stay in village for a while for better understanding and proper perspective on the travels of village life. My dear youngsters, it is also essential for you, students, to acquire vocational skills, including those related to agro-economy. It will help in encouraging innovation and entrepreneurship among young students. India, with all this urbanization still, we have 54 percent of the people living on agriculture. Agriculture is our basic culture. We have to take care to see that we provide new innovations for our agriculturists so that agriculture also can become viable. True knowledge is garnered through observation, reading, discussions, reflection and analysis and internationalism, internationalization, internationalization and this can only be possible if every school introduces experimental learning embedded with field visits. The curriculum should be oriented to make students think rationally, independently and express our cogently. Focus of school education should be on instilling inquisitiveness and curiosity, creativity, critical thinking and communication. These are the five C's that are important. I strongly believe that school education must aim to help students becoming compassionate and caring human beings with a sense of empathy. Mere sympathy will not suffice. You need empathy also. We also need to infuse the spirit of nationalism and patriotism in each child. Dear students, you must own up glorious heritage of rich cultural diversity of this country. You are also the inheritors of a rich and living linguistic heritage of India. You must enrich the tradition. You must respect and take pride in our motherland and in our mother tongue. Use your mother tongue to express yourself. I am happy today the sports provide a promising career opportunity for our youth. It is not only trains your mind and body, but also inculcates the spirit of teamwork and leadership. Along with your studies, you must also pursue and excel in sports and become better personalities. My dear young friends, may all of you realize your dreams and achieve success in every endeavor 
you undertake and i would also like to advise you on some small things important things one my five things to remember one is the mother should never never forget the mother who has given you the beautiful birth mother includes father also woman w o m i n man is there in every woman so understand this everybody throughout their life they should respect their parents we are hearing stories uh, stories now morning only i saw something on whatsapp all the elderly people holding a rally in hyderabad saying that elders anti abusing day something like that it's an irony in a country where we respect our elders our gurus such a situation emerged even in small lemba should never 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 neglect parents number 1 number 2 everybody should remember their native place apna janm sthan ko hamesha yaad rakhna chahiye you should always remember your native place do something for your native place even if you become something big you go to iit or you become mighty or you go to abroad and also acquire so much you should never forget your native place that's why i say even if you want to go abroad go learn yearn and return to serve your motherland that is also equally important and the third thing is everybody should promote propagate speak in mother tongue only at home apna ghar mein apna nivas mein apna pita ji mata ji ke sath bachon ke sath padosi log ke sath हम अपना मातृभाषा में ही हमेशा बोलना चाहिए बात करते रहना चाहिए दिस इज वेरी मच रिक्वायर्ड एवरी बॉडी शुड प्रमोट द मदर टंग दो लैंग्वेज दैट हैज कम फ्रॉम मदर सूम जो माँ का पेट से आया उस भाषा को हमेशा याद रखना चाहिए प्रैक्टिस करना चाहिए प्रमोट करना चाहिए माँ बोलो अंतराल से आता है मम्मी बोलो यहां से आता है रात को एक बार घर जाके माँ बाप के साथ एक बार प्रैक्टिस करो यू से माँ इट विल बी फ्रॉम इन साइड इफ यू से मम्मी फ्रॉम हियर वाई शुड वी फॉलो दैट इंग्लिश कलोनियल माइंड सेट ऑफ कॉलिंग मम्मी डैडी बीडी जैडी केडी वाई वाई नॉट वी से अम्मा वॉट इज अम्मा इन ओरिसा ओडिया माँ माँ ओरिया में भी माँ है सो वी हैव टू वी हैव टू फॉलो अवर मदर टंग माई डियर एंगस्टर्स mother tongue is like your eyesight other language is like your spectacles i think you understand if you have eyesight then spectacles will help you to have the foresight if you don't have sight even if you wear rebon glasses no improvement तो भाषा और भावना एक साथ चलता है इसलिए हमेशा हमारा भातृभाषा को प्राथमिकता देना चाहिए गर्व महसूस करना चाहिए मैं ओडिया हूँ मैं तेलुगु हूँ मैं तमिल हूँ मैं कन्नड़ा हूँ मैं मलयाली हूँ मैं मराठी हूँ पंजाबी हूँ असामी हूँ भोजपुरी हूँ कश्मीरी हूँ डोगरी हूँ उर्दू जो भी है मातृभाषा उसको हमेशा प्रोत्साहन करना चाहिए आई एम नॉट सेंग दट यू अपोज अदर लैंग्वेजेस लैंड एज मेनी लैंग्वेज एज पॉसिबल but do not forget the mother tongue that's what i am saying learn english good Le- but don't become english man or english woman learn english learn hindi jitna bhasha sambhav hai to utna bhasha seekhna chahiye ye bahut zaruri hai aage badhne ke liye magar yahan rakhne ke rakhne ke liye yahan thoda aage badhne ke liye matrubhasha bahut mahatvapurna hai i i can tell you one thing I have been to Latin American countries recently, to Guatemala, to Peru, to Panama, to number of countries. I interact with them wherever I go. I talk to people on different issues. Then while talking, I told them, "What is your official language?" They said Spanish. I second language. They said English. I said, "What about your mother tongue?" They said, "Sir, there is no original language now." I said, "What well, happened?" They said, "Sir, Spanish came and our language got vanished." they are under spanish rule colonial rule for long now their official language is spanish so same thing should not happen to us fortunately english people have tried but our culture our st- roots are very strong deep rooted so we could survive but now in the fascination of english we are neglecting our mother tongue please 
see to it that the mother tongue is also promoted. I want to see a day when education is promoted in the respect to state languages firstly and then in other languages. As a vice president, I receive presidents and vice presidents. The prime minister receives president. You might have seen on TV, Chinese president came, Russian president came, put in, and then French president came, lot of Iranian president came. They were all speaking in their mother tongue and somebody was translating to Narendra Bhai Modi, Prime Minister. Then I asked Sushma Ji, Se Videsh Mantri Sushma Saraji Se, Kya Sushma Ji, In Netaon Ko Angreji Maru Nahi Kya? Unhone Ka Kuch Logon Ko Maru Mahe, Bagar Woh Bolte Nahi Hai, Woh Apana Matru Bhasha Me Bolna Pasand Karte Hai, Aisa Kaha Hone. I will tell you an interesting thing, I had an occasion to meet the Iranian President. When we meet somebody, you are briefed by the External Affairs Ministry and also you go through the biodata. He did a PhD in English in London. So I thought this great man is going to speak in English. Then I spoke to him, he was speaking in Persian, there is a translation. So that is the spirit. We must also follow that we should speak our mother tongue, we should promote our mother tongue and education, basic education must be in mother tongue. And then you learn yeah, as many languages as possible. This is third. The fourth thing is motherland, the country which has given you beautiful opportunity, the state which has given you beautiful opportunity, Odisha or the Bharat, India. You should always remember and grateful to your country. Whatever may be your language, Alag Bhasha, Alag Vesh, Phir Bhi Apna Ek Desh, Vividata Me Ekata Bharat Ka Viseshata, Ye Mesha Yad Rakhna Chahi. And we must also remember, irrespective of caste, creed, sex, religion and region, India is one. We are one nation, one people, one country. Anything happening to Kashmir, up to Kanyakumari, everybody should speak in one voice. Whenever army, whenever our brothers in the armed forces, they do something great to the country, we must stand by those people, say, Jai Jawan. And if whenever something great is achieved by our farmers, we must say, Jai Kisan. When our scientists have done something great, today also something great is going to happen. I think it is happening. PSLV, our uh, ISRO, they are launching satellites. Satellites, when I was coming here, the process is on for different countries. When they achieve something, one day, they have, they have sent 104 satellites in one day. That is the greatness of India. It happened earlier. And recently you heard the Prime Minister saying about making that announcement about missiles, satellites. So all these things, then we must say, Jai Vijnan, Jai Jawan, Jai Kisan, Jai Vijnan. When you say Bharat Mata ko Jai Ho, not to that photo of Bharat Mata. There is no Bharat Mata there, only symbol. When you say Vande Mataram, all 130 crore people ko Jai Ho, then only Bharat Mata ko Jai Ho hoga. That is the philosophy. So we must have that national outlook and national spirit. And fifthly, not lastly, fifthly, Guru. You should always remember the Guru who taught you basically. Guru means Jnan Dene Wale Hai. Jnan Dene Wale Hai. Hamesha Guru ko yaad rakhna chahiye. Aaj kar kuch kahte, kuch log kahte, sir, kya jarurat hai Guru ka? Kya jarurat hai? Google aya. Google aya, achcha hai. But I want to tell you that Google may be a repair, so you will have to call the Guru. Ko so Google can never replace Guru. Please remember, Guru should be remembered forever. All these five things are very much important, my dear friends. And then, promoting lifestyle. We must go back to our old lifestyle. It's becoming mechanical nowadays, materialistic. That's no good at all. Lifestyle changes. There has to be physical activity also. That's why yoga is one of our Indian ancient art. We must all promote yoga. Yoga has nothing to do with religion. Yoga has nothing to do with politics. Yoga is for your body, not for Modi. You have to understand this. And yoga is being promoted across the globe. Second one is food habits. Now we are all tempted by Western food slowly. You have such a beautiful food here in India. In every state, food is decided on the basis of the season, our forefathers. For thousands of years, they lived and they have decided in what season, what food you should eat. But nowadays, we are all tempted by TV propaganda, cinema propaganda, Western propaganda, brands, models and all. 
people say we need for instant food instant food means constant disease this has to be understood by all instant food means constant disease pizza burger what is all this and you have such a beautiful delicacies in india why should you run after the go to restaurant they put such a names beautiful names you go to restaurant and order chicken sir chicken 65 your age is not even 25 you want to go for 65 इतना जल्दी आप जीवन समाप्त करना चाहते बुजुर्ग हो के बुढ़े हो के नेम सर के वन सच नेम चिकन मंचूरिया यू आर इन हिमालय वो शुड यू बाधर अबाउट मंचूरिया बल्गेरिया सोमालिया ऑल दिस थिंग्स यू शुड हैव अवर फूड एंड वी शुड बिकम स्ट्रांग वी मस्ट ईट स्टेपल फूड सीरियल्स पल्सेस दाल so many things are there in india beautiful names are also there in our food i don't want to take your time i have one more program to go so please promote indian food see to it our children are not diverted or carried away because of the propaganda and also the brands and all ours is the ancient brand oldest brand so we should promote that brand and then move forward my dear friends and last day world is looking at india i have been going around different countries everywhere people are looking and talking about respecting and recognizing india because one culture second because we believe in peace peace is prerequisite for progress if there is tension there cannot be attention so peace is required universal peace is required and third is that we believe in the philosophy of sarve jana sukhina bhavantu we believe in sustainable development and fourth three more important why world is looking to india india is becoming a economic power world bank world economic forum asian development bank international monetary fund moody's ratings everybody is saying india is on the move if you move with this speed continue with the reforms india will become the third largest economy in the world entire world economy is slowing down world average is 3% our powerful neighbor china is 6.8% but our country india bharat motherland is moving at 7 7.1 7.3 7.4% <laughs> if we all have positive thinking if we all do our duty and then we all move together then we can become a really a super economic power and we can become a spiritual power for the entire world let us all aim in that direction and work hard be disciplined be hard working respect elders respect nature love and live with the nature love and live with the nature nature culture together for better future that's my advice to you all thank you very much namaskar jai hind i request the audience to kindly stand up and give a standing ovation to the honorable vice president of india sir thank you seems too little and too insignificant to express the immensity of our gratitude to you sir for having blessed us with your extremely simple yet priceless philosophy indeed we will cherish every word that you have gifted us today and your words of inspiration will be etched in our minds forever and act as a guiding light in the years to come your glorious visit to our institution will be recorded in the chronicles of sai international and will be cherished for an eternity thank you sir i now humbly request chairman sir to kindly present the memento to shri venkaiah naidu honorable vice president of india for gracing the occasion with his auspicious presence I now humbly request sir to kindly present the memento to professor ganeshi lal ji honorable governor of odisha as a mark of our decadal celebration we humbly request honorable vice president of india to kindly present a commemorative plaque
to Dr. Vijay Kumar Sahu, Chairman, Sai International. Thank you, dignitaries, for doing the honors. I would now like to take this opportunity to humbly request Shri Harish Sanduja, Principal, Sai International School, to kindly come forward to propose a vote of thanks. Sai International Family, Honorable Chief Guest, His Excellency Vice President of India, Sri Venkaya Naiduji. It has been an honor of a lifetime to have you amongst us today and to listen to your kind words and inspirational talks. These students will remember this August day for all times to come. Thank you. And I must say that Sai International School family will always cherish the words of wisdom that you shared and definitely the five mantras that you gave about mother, remembering the native place, promoting the mother tongue, the motherland and the country to be remembered always and the guru and its importance. I am sure that this whole family of Sai International will definitely remember this for times immemorial. Your presence has made the closure of our decalator lecture here a memorable, memorable one. I would also like to thank Honorable Governor of Odisha, Professor Sri Ganeshi Lalji for gracing the occasion and his kind words. Thank you, sir, for your humility is a great motivation and we shall always remain indebted to you. Big thanks to the Honorable Vice President's Secretariat and the Honorable Governor's Secretariat. Thanks to the various departments of the state like Chief Engineer Roads Building, Public Health Department, along with the Deputy Commandant's Office of CISF, Office of Commissioner of BMC, IDCO, and Commissionerate of Police. I thank the friends from the print and the electronic media for being a great support. I thank the students of the sci Choir and the team who did a fabulous job and did a great presentation today. And I would also like to thank heartily to our guests, invitees, parents, teachers, and the students of Sri Harsha Memorial School for students who are differently abled cadets of SANIC school, students of SIRS, SICC, and students of SAI International School. Thank you once again, everyone, and Jai Hind. Thank you, sir, for your kind words. Now I humbly request the audience to kindly stand up for the national anthem. <laughs>